evening or good morning or good afternoon or are there any time other times of the day good day to you sir you guys today we're working on posture on your pasta on your fettuccine alfredo pasta get your bodies ready because we're gonna learn about how to not stand like this <laughs> Okay friends, so posture on a serious note is actually really important for dance and it's important just for your everyday. Your posture is how you're standing, the way that you're carrying your limbs. And it's very prominent in ballet, but it also goes through every single other style of dance as well. There is a very um, obvious dancer posture. Um, what was I going to say? Ah, yes. Posture is not just for good technique, it's to protect you from injuries. Because dance is not super natural on your body, right? You're putting yourself into kind of funky positions. So you wanna make sure that you're doing it in the correct alignment so that you don't get injured or have chronic pain for the rest of your life. This woman, learn from me, okay? All right, so the plum line, not like an actual little baby plum, which I haven't had in a long time, have you? Mm -mm. Do they even exist? We don't know. Plumb line, you guys, is P-L-U-M-B, and it's a straight line that goes from your head all the way down for your, to your feet. So, <laughs> hello everyone. Um, your plumb line starts at your ear, friends, okay? And your ear then connects down to your shoulder, your shoulder to your hip, your hip to your knee, and your knee to your ankle. So you want to picture just a straight line going all the way down. So right now, I'm totally out of alignment. This is how I normally stand. We're going to get real today, people. I have what's called lumbar lordosis, which sounds like real serious, but it just means you kind of have a sway back, and a lot of other people do too. Um, so for example, my lumbar lordosis kind of sticks my booty out like this. Like when you just chit-chat and pull in a milkshake talking to your friends. And in dance, what I have to do is pull up my lower abs so that I have a little tilt forward and under so that my back flattens out. So I'm going to be teaching you today about all those different areas and exercises on how to get the best posture. Yes. <laughs> you guys, I had so many words just come into my head and I wanted to say them all and then none of them came out because there were too many. <clears throat> Hello, we are gonna work on our head posture, starting with your little ear plumb line position. I'm gonna teach you how to L, okay? You're gonna stick your thumb in your sternal notch. That's this little hole right here. It's a little weird, don't push too hard. You're gonna put your thumb there and then straighten out your pointer finger and that goes underneath your chin. This is where your head should be aligned in ballet class and lyrical and jazz and all your different styles. When your teacher says chin up, you want to think this, yeah? So you can kind of walk around your dance class like this. People should know. If they don't know, then they're, they're lame, okay? Let's bring up our chin like this. Now, really fast, I'm gonna face this side. Usually what happens, you guys, is people's heads are forward like this. I'm gonna super exaggerate it, okay? These neck extensors and your rhomboids, those top back muscles, it's all your cervical muscles. Hi, I'm a smart lady. Who knew, right? Not me. <laughs> All your cervical muscles are weak, okay? And you need to pull back. And do you see, Bray, how my neck is now in line with my spine? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put my thumb in my sternal notch and lift up my chin. And now I'm in the proper dance posture and alignment for my upper body, meaning my chin and my neck. This is where I normally am lazy bum and this is where I should be I don't want to move and mess it up <laughs> you guys your shoulders are easy peasy lemon squeezy all you're doing is if you have rounded shoulders like this or maybe you sit at a little computadora the whole day um, or maybe you're like texting over your phone or like you're fighting with your boyfriend and you just you know you're getting there and your shoulders are all crunched over <laughs> hopefully no one texts like this but Honestly, it kind of happens. From here, you want to just roll your shoulders back and down. What happened there is, I now grew like five more inches up 
My chest is now open and my, I almost said my spatulas. My spatulas, <laughs> my, my scapulas. My scapulas are coming closer together. And now I'm gonna combine that with my L and my neck pulling in. Hey, you guys, we're working on this part of our body. This I really think is the hardest because you're moving so much in dance. Yeah, that it's like it's pretty tricky to keep your spine and your lower abs and your booty and your hips on alignment. But I'm gonna show you an ab exercise that'll help you so much, okay? We're here. We have our little abs out, most likely like this. <laughs> we have the little goldfish that we ate just cruising around in our stomach. What you wanna do is pull up your lower abs and that flattens out your lower back. Now, pro tip. I'm not sucking in. This is a common mistake that a lot of dancers make when their teachers say, tummy's in, because I say that, yeah? Tummy's in, or you know, lift your lower abs, or booty's under. What happens is people go, they pull in, and then you're trying to, you're trying, can you even see this on camera? I don't know. You're trying to like suck in, and that's really different from flattening out your spine. I'm not sucking anything in, yes? Be beautiful, love your body, okay? All I'm doing is lifting up so that my butt has somewhere to go and my spine flattens out. So now that that is happening, I have my shoulders down and rolled back. I have my neck extensors fired up and pulling my head back and my chin is lifted. Looks very natural. <laughs> We're almost there. We're back to laying on the floor. The best part about every vlog. Okay. This one is really important and very helpful for you to feel that flat back feeling. So, when I'm laying down, I'm gonna create this space right here. Like a little, a little family of ants could crawl underneath your spine, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is an anterior tilt. And I, I think it's anterior. PT people, was it posterior or anterior? I think it's, we need Matt. Shout out, Matt. <laughs> Here we go. Down to flatten your back on the floor. There's no space, no family of ants. From here, I'm gonna do a little crunch, keeping that contact on the floor. Come back down, release so the family of ants can go. Then we go. Tilt to flatten your back. Crunch, keep the space smushed down. <laughs> Come back, space. Lower down, crunch down, space, lower down, crunch, down, space. What's this, what's this, what's this? <laughs> what? Okay, let's sit up. Okay, what this is doing is training your muscles to go from that booty out position to pulling your lower abs in and functioning or working from that flat spine. So you create the space, the wrong position, you close the space and flatten your spine and you do a crunch, which is your movement. So you're training your muscles how to get there and how to sustain it throughout your movement, just like you would in your dance class. Pro tip, peeps. Also, we need a name for these pro tips, like Miss Ati's magical... Hot tips? Hot tips, like hot tips. Is that what you mean? More like Ati tips. Oh, I see. Hmm, we'll workshop it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if you think of something better, put it in the comments and we'll name the pro tips those. But Bray, I love your idea too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, okay, you guys, posture is not just for when you're moving. So a lot of people walk around like this, like the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and then they get to ballet class and they're like, oh, okay, what I want you to think about is that posture is, like Brayden said, off camera, a way of life. It's a W-O-L, a wall, okay? Or a wall. Um, but for real, when you're standing in line, when you're talking to your friends, when you're sitting at a computer, remember all of those things because it's muscle memory. So it's not just a posture that turns on when you're in dance class. You always wanna have posture like a dancer. You always wanna have a lifted spine and lifted lower abs and a tall chin. Um, it gives you confidence, it makes you look confident even if you're not, okay? It's a good good uh, tip and trick if you are faking it till you make it. 
Um, but it also just makes it easier in dance class. Your body gets used to it and then you can learn how to function and how to move out of that posture. So take your posture with you out of dance class. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Um, posture has been something that I've been getting a lot of comments and messages about. Um, so I was pretty excited to make the video for you. So practice all of those little tips and hacks to get your perfect ballet posture. And remember, it's good in the studio and out of the studio. It's time for a special announcement. <laughs> That's all I needed the clock for. Um, you guys, we now have a Miss Ati mailing list, which I'm so excited about. You put your cute little email in on my website and you're gonna get exclusive content written by me, this little lady. If you wanna hear more from me, go to atikamal.com and a little pop-up guy should show up. You put in your email and pretty soon you're gonna get content that will only be through that email list. Um, announcements, sneak peeks, all that kind of fun stuff. So join in, baby, and we'll see you guys next week. Love you guys. I gotta go.